What's up guys, it's Chris from Gotti6 Gaming and today I'm starting a new series called Things I Like About and the first episode will be Stardew Valley because fucking love farming! So the first thing you'll notice is this is my nice lovely fucking house and yes, I'm not fucking stupid, I have a giant bear in my house. And they also say hello to 6 o'clock in the fucking morning. Why the fuck would you ever get up this early? Um, I'm rolling in the money! Uh, let's head outside of the house and let's have a look at the place. Oh, it's lovely and sunny. Everything's great. Everything's fine. Hello to my shitty farm. My incredibly shitty farm. But then again, it's a farm and I don't have one in real life, so fuck it. Um, the reason I like this game so much is because it's genuinely Harvest Moon. Like, this game is more or less Harvest Moon. And anyone who knows Harvest Moon knows that it's addictive as fuck. And you just can't help but fucking enjoy it. Uh, oh look, the honey from the bees! Sorry, I was going to insert a not the bees joke, but I decided not to bother. Dear fucking god, let's grab some shit. Let's put this shit somewhere else. That's a, that's all this game is essentially though. It's it's farming and collecting and putting things places. I mean, look at all this MLG farming I'm doing right now. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the MLG strats of farming? Hold down the button. What are the plants? That's it right there. Insert air horns. Insert? Insert air horns. Fucking moron. <laughs> and yeah, this is all you do. You water plants. You, you know, you water plants. What do you want from me? It's a fucking farming sim. Anyway, so obviously, of course, there's more than just, you know, uh, doing your plants and watering and shit. You also get animals and such, you know. You get your farm animals, like your chickens, your cows, your sheep, your pigs, your goats, uh, your bunnies. I'm not sure how bunnies are farm animals, but you know, you get them sort of things. And then, you know, you take all their produce and you sell it like a heartless motherfucker. You take the eggs from the chickens that have just laid them and you just go, fuck you, you'll never see your children. Uh, sorry, that got a little dark. Uh, and then, of course, you can come and find your cows and everything else like that. And you just be like, hello, I'm now going to milk you. That's right, except my milking. Sorry. Got weird again. Um, take the milk. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm being weird today. Yeah, I, I just got told that um, apparently the phone that I ordered uh, I can't have because my address on my ID doesn't match where I live now. So I'm without a phone for at least another, you know, month and a half, which is fucking bullshit. Sorry, I don't know why I'm talking about that. I shouldn't be talking about that. I should be talking about this game, Stardew Valley. Stardew, the game where you can do almost as many things as you could possibly think about. You know, yeah, get some more water. Um, you know, you get to explore and such as well. You don't just have to stay on your farm. There is things that you can do out in the wilderness. You can go along, you can just be a complete and utter weirdo and chop down trees while children watch in the background. That's right, I'm going to deforest this place. And then you can't go hide in the forest. But then people might find the bodies. Sorry! Um... But there is other things that you can do in this game as well, obviously. Uh, there is a town where you can go and you can spend your hard-earned money. Because as you can see, I am fucking rolling in the dough. Sorry. Uh, that's a rival farm. Fuck them. My farm's better. That's right. You heard me. Sorry. Uh, but yeah. You know, it's a nice town. Full of other different people. Other different people. What the fuck is that sentence, Chris? Um, you know, you can come to town, you can meet all the nice, friendly people. Hello, old woman. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. The fuck is your problem? Sorry. Uh, there's the saloon, where you can go and get wasted. Well, I wish. Uh, this is the town mayor. He's a strange man. There is genuinely a mission where you have to go find his underwear, which is somewhere in the town. I'm not even joking. Uh, say hello to the shop where you come to buy your stuff because where else do you buy shit? You know, it's like just general things, you know, seeds, grass starting kits, and then you get certain different items, fertilizers, all that sort of stuff, things to decorate your house. And then obviously trees. Trees are where the money's at. Trees are fucking great because once you plant it, that bitch will make you money non stop in that certain month. The rest of the year it's fucking useless and it takes up space. Anyway, um, you know, we continue along the way. Uh, you can just see the lovely the lovely surroundings. And this is the community centre, which is kind of like a... It's an objective to work towards because there's these little creatures that are called the... Insert whatever the fuck they're called right here. I'll put it on top of the screen right now like this. Oh, look at that. Movie magic. Um, it's these weird little things. And you just bring different items and, you know, you 
drop them off, and then you'll get pr uh, prizes for completing each bundle, and then you get a certain, like, large prize for completing a certain bundle. Like, I finished this one, and therefore the room gets repaired, and things get done to it, and, you know, it's a nice, happy-looking place now. It's not as shit. Obviously, that tells you how many things you've done. So, as you can see, I've only got two more to go, because I am fucking MLG, insert air horns. <laughs> Thank you. Um... It's not the only thing there is that you can do in this game, though. There is also the mines. And the mines are, well, the, the mines are the part that changes this game a lot from uh, Harvest Moon. Because in Harvest Moon there was a quarry and stuff that you could go into and you could, like, get minerals and stuff from it and sell them on and do stuff with them. That was all great. This game, however, this game has a level system of different mines that you make your way through to collect items and shit. But there's also monsters and such. Let's go for uh, level 60. And let's go straight down here. I don't know why he squatted. Uh, and there you see, you've got your sword, you've got your different uh, enemies and stuff that are in the area. These are all things that you can break and you can mine. I don't have a pickaxe, why the fuck did I come here? Jesus Christ! Um, but yeah, you know, you just fight your way through and stuff, kill shit. Obviously I've been to the very bottom, so things around here are easy as shit to die. And I don't have a mine, uh, pick sorry, so I can't get any further. So coming here was fucking useless. So anyway... We'll uh, leave the mine. But yeah, um, the mine is essentially, it's just, it's a nice way to earn extra money when you're not farming because it's something to work towards again as well. You know, you get achievements for it and stuff if you're bothered about achievements, if you're like what I used to be like when I was a kid and I played Xbox and I was all, I have to get every achievement and nowadays I'm like, oh, fucking effort, you know, but that can't be helped. But uh, apart from that, though, there is also the amazingness that is MLG fishing. And I'm not joking when I say this is MLG fishing. I mean, are you ready for this? Are you ready for the greatest experience of your life? This is the best thing about this game. I'm not joking. Hold the button. Throw the reel. Get ready to fish. It's glorious, isn't it? But yeah, this is how you fish. It's just, you know, you've got your little fish indicator and you've got to keep it in the green. And then once the bar fills and you catch the fish and then you pull the fish over and it's like, hey, you caught a fish. Um, and that was possibly the worst example because there was literally no effort put in. Yeah, like I literally didn't even have to click a button. Like normally you have to frantically, you know, spam the left click to be like, ah, oh, catch the fish, keep it in the green. But like, this but there are some fish that are just like, no. Uh, I will attempt to try and find a harder fish, just to show you what I mean. Um, that's not going to happen, is it? Oh, he moved a bit. These carps just want to die. And that's what you normally do for an entire day. Um, and as we're going to walk past the rival farm, fuck you, I will burn you down while you sleep. Sorry. Um, as you walk past the rival farm, you know, you get back to your farm and you three think to yourself, I've had a nice productive day. Um, maybe I could do a couple of more things before I go to sleep. But then you suddenly realise, you know, there's a distinct lack of energy. Yeah, the energy system in this game is essentially every action you make in majority of senses will cost energy. And that energy will mean that you can't, you know, continue to do things. Because if you continue to keep acting along while you have zero energy, you will eventually get to a point where the game will just go, you're fucking knackered. And you will slow down to a fucking snail's pace. You will not be able to barely do anything. And if you continue doing it, you'll just pass out. And passing out in this game is not very fun because you will lose some money. Uh, if you do it in the mines, you'll not only lose money, you'll lose progress in the mines and you'll even lose a couple of items. Holy shit, that honey. Holy fucking shit, that was just like very well timed. I'm gonna rake in some fucking money from this one, then I can put that other farm out of fucking bit, sorry. Uh, scarecrows are quite cool as well. It's a nice little change from the original sort of like Harvest Moon thing. Uh, if you don't have scarecrows, crows will actually come along and eat your crops. Because those motherfuckers are like that. Um, so yeah, don't forget scarecrows. Don't forget scarecrows. And then obviously, uh, I should point out, when it gets to about 12 o'clock, you'll see that the time has gone red. That means within the next two hours, if you do not get to bed, you're going to pass out. 
uh, it doesn't matter regardless if your energy is low, full, whatever. You will pass out unless you get to bed. Uh, this is the house, obviously. I didn't really explain it much before, but, you know, I've upgraded my house, so it's bigger than just this tiny square that it originally starts as. You actually have a bedroom now. Uh, you've got a kitchen uh, where you can prepare your meals, cook stuff, you know, fried eggs, omelettes, sort of, you know, kind of useful things. It helps to increase energy and health, which you will lose when you're in the mines, because it's the mines. Got your TV where you can watch stuff and it'll teach you things that you didn't know about in the future, uh, in the past. I don't know why you would know not something in the future. Christ, what the hell are the words escaping from my mouth right now? You're a fucking idiot, Chris. Kill yourself. Um, so yeah, you know, you'll learn daft stuff like that. Uh, this is your faithful dog or cat, depending on which one you pick at the beginning of the game. Uh, and then you come to bed in your nice lovely house, in your double bed, by yourself, because I spent the entire first year of this game not talking to anyone, just farming non-stop, and now I'm all alone and I don't have anyone! <laughs> Sorry. And that's why I like Stardew Valley. Because you can't help but love this game. There's nothing about this game that I can particularly say that I don't like. I like more or less everything about this game, except the fact that I'm alone and miserable. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I totally recommend Harvest Moon. I mean Stardew Valley. I mean, yeah, that one. Good night, everyone.